in 2016, she did the first ever gene sequencing in space. Um, and then in 2018, she went one better. She did the first CRISPR in space. So we know we can do this. We know this is technology we can use while we're in space. Um, she used a handheld device uh, called the Minion, uh, developed by Oxford Nanopore Technologies just down the road from where I live, which is basically like an old school flip phone. And you, you can take like a piece of hair or skin cell, you can put it in, close it, and it will read out the entire genome for you in a matter of hours. The cost is about $500. Now, in t how can we apply this to DNA repair? In 2021, Christina Koch of the Artemis II team, um, she used crispr cas for an experiment on yeast cells on the ISS to observe their DNA repair systems. So this has been done on eukaryotes. We have actively observed, edited, and uh, repaired um, DNA repair systems in space using CRISPR. So this is not too far away.